Okay, and third breath. Okay, now you can see what's exposed here. It's my armpit, isn't it, that's exposed. And that's exactly where point of the week is this week. Because we're gonna actually explore the next few minutes the action, location action of one of my favorite points, I have to say, um, which is uh, heart one. It's the first point on the heart channel and it comes out in the armpit and it links directly deep into the chest. Now, I have taught in some shouts of schools around the world that actually say you shouldn't work heart one or even the heart channel because it's too vulnerable. But I don't believe that because I use this point all the time and it's fantastically good, particularly for frozen shoulder, uh, believe it or not. And I'm gonna show you how you can experience heart one um, and you'll see the effect it has on releasing the shoulder, okay? Um, it's called Summit Spring, um, G Kran, and the whole idea of that is that it's like a, the spring of the heart energy which then flows down the arm, okay? It benefits the channel and the arm, and it's also used for frozen shoulder, and also because it's a heart origin point, it's also used for um, anxiety as well. Okay, and of course I was doing my homework, as I always do every week, and I was looking up heart one in the great tome here, um, Peter Devon's book, and sure enough, um, it says, um, it says for this reason in, um, Qigong practice and meditation, keeping the axilla slightly open is vital for maintaining the free flow of qi and blood through the upper limbs. Okay, so even when you're meditating or doing anything, it's a really good idea to keep that egg there. For this reason, it said one should stand or sit with enough space in the armpit to hold an egg. Okay, just like we've been doing today. As a result, even in periods of long quietness, the arm and hands will stay warm because we've got the qi going into the Hands. Very clever, isn't it? Okay, so I bet you're dying to know now where it is and exactly where it is and how to press it. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, now I'll show you how you can feel the action of the point as well. So look, it's right in the armpit and I'll just show you the picture again so you can see the picture of it. You see it's right in the actual armpit, okay. In order to get the real effect of it though, you have to have the direction correct. And it's actually, uh, in acupuncture, it's, oh, I don't like the thought of that, having a needle in there, but never mind. Um, the, the direction is towards gallbladder 21. Now, can you remember where gallbladder 21 was? That was the one right on the top of the shoulder that we mentioned earlier. So if you imagine you've got to aim your thumb or whatever you're gonna use, or finger, I actually think the middle finger is the best, easiest one to do. If you aim it directly towards gallbladder 21, which is right here, Okay, and then you relax. You want to keep the arm open like this with a pretty big egg thing in it, okay? Now try this. Keep your arms relaxed and press in with the point up towards the top of your shoulder. And if you get the angle right, you'll feel a sensation through the connective tissue into the sternum. And you'll also feel a sensation into the scapula, okay? And that's why it's used for unbinding the chest and for frozen shoulder, and it's a very effective point. In Shiatsu, normally what we do is we use it in a side position, um, and so we can open up this whole area here and we can kind of get right in there, if you can imagine it, right up and into here and connect it with there, okay? But you can use it on your own. Oh, my goodness, look at the difference between my left and right shoulder now. <laughs> I better do the other side. Let's do it again on this side. So I'm gonna use this middle finger right into the armpit, I'm going to just change my angle of my arm until I can feel the angle aiming up towards gallbladder 21. That's here. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm getting the sensation of release in the chest area. And also I can feel it all around the shoulder. And that, everyone, is heart one. And you can see now why this stretch is so good for the heart channel. Because what it does is it stretches open heart one there. So a combination of stretching like this and keeping that egg under your armpit is all we need <laughs> to keep that channel nice and open. Okay, so let's incorporate it now into our um, upper burner um, workout. Um, we've got a nice feeling of activation underneath in our heart one now. So now what we need to do is pick up the channel as far up into the armpit as we can, and we're gonna tap it down towards the little finger. Okay. And then we come round 
up the back of the arm, and then up into the shoulder. This is the scoring test in China.